Hello guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Black Operation 1 and welcome to another episode of the DDS or Drug Dealer Simulator and uh, yeah, I apologise for it not being out yesterday but I've been just consistently working on trying to improve um, one of the recipes which I'm going to be showing you today because this, as you can tell by the title of the video, this is my brand new recipes um, and yeah, so I've been just furiously working on uh, trying to improve these recipes, make as much profit, and trying to, um, yeah, just trying to get this one of my new recipes working. And there's only one way you can do it, but I'm going to explain everything today in this episode, and hopefully, you guys are going to have some uh, nice, profitable recipes to sell to the gang. Plus, you can sell one of these to your dealer, yes. There is also a dealer slash client mix in this as well. And it's a brand new, actually. It's one of the very first recipes I've ever put on this channel. Piss off, I know. Go away. So, yeah, it's one of the very first recipes. Um, one of them's the very first recipes I've ever done on this channel. And I will get to that. So, guys, if you're new to this channel and haven't actually checked out any of my Drug Dealer Simulator videos, there is a link at the top there. Go and check the series out. There's some great content on there. A load of recipe guides. A load of ways to make big money and big profit. And there's a load of tints, tips. There's a beginner's guide. Plus, just normal gameplay if you like that. So, go and check that out now. Also, there's a link to the Discord in the channel. Um, in, sorry, in the description, there's a link to the Discord. There, so you can come and join the community and what I call a family. Um, and yeah, it's just fantastic bunch of people come and say hello to everyone. So let's get started with the very first thing on the agenda. Right, so the very first thing I do kind of want to talk about, you can hear them out there, it's the 5 -0, okay? Now, I've had nothing but issues with this squad car. If you watch any of my streams, you will know Every time, every time I'm here doing my coke business, the squad car spawns there. It doesn't spawn anywhere else but here. Every goddamn time. And it's supposed to be a random spawn around the map. Yes? But no. It's just next to my place of business. You know, it's, it's affecting my work. Theoretically, I should sue them. Because that's against the law, isn't it? If the police, you know, are... Uh, Affecting your workplace in a way, isn't that against the law? <laughs> you know, it's just annoying. <laughs> it's just annoying. I think I might have to get hold of the chief of police and sort this shit out because this ain't on. This ain't on. I ain't having it. I ain't having it. You know, I can't even go out in front door without getting, you know, without getting the nut busted on me by these fools. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first thing. Is I think the police squad car is slightly bugged, or I've just got seriously bad RNG again with the police force this time and yeah they just keep spawning inside my base or outside my hideout my cocaine lab which is the main thing i need i am the guy well i'm known as pablo because i'm the cocaine guy and uh yeah just i just want to go out there and petrol bomb the car <laughs> you know and no i don't condone violence it's just they make me feel that way <laughs> so yeah um okay so with that said and done you guys are here for one thing and one thing only, which is recipe mixes. Now, the first one I'm going to show you, all right? So, I've got a couple of pre-fills. I have a new drug, which we're going to be doing first. This one I'm going to be showing you first. A new drug on the channel. My very first recipe for this new drug, and it works. It's not the best. I'm still trying to improve it, but it works for what it's supposed to be. So, this new drug works for what it is. It's ideal for client and dealers. Plus, this new drug is actually... Alright, so basically what I've done is I've managed to swing this drug two ways. One is for the client and the dealer, and two is also a pre-fill or filler for my cocaine recipe. Alright, so you can kill two birds with one stone with this very first recipe I'm going to give you. Okay, so what you guys want to know is what drug is it that we are talking about, and that, my ladies and my gentleman friend, is LSD. Alright, now I use LSD for all my mixes. LSD is a very, very good, very potent, very addictive drug. And it's ideal for cocaine mixes and fillers. So I use it a lot. And as you can see, I have a lot of it. And I've still got more as well. <laughs> I've still got more of it. But uh, yeah, so we're going to start with the very first thing, which is the pre-fill. 
Okay, so we're going to start with the pre-fill. So the pre-fill is a very addictive pre-fill. It has got um, quite good addictive qualities to it. And also it's got a lot of less toxicity as well because of the additives added to it. So for the pre-fill, we are going to want... I'm going to mix up... Um, by the way, I'm going to give you the percentages of the pre-fill because you can mix up whatever you want. But I am concentrating on a uh, 1,000 grams. I only do a 1,000 grams. So I'm going to be giving you the percentage as well as obviously the amount. But then it's pretty obvious over 1,000 grams if I say a percentage. So the first is Viagra. And that's going to be a 5%, which is 50, uh, 50 grams into a 1,000. So we want 5% Viagra and then you want 5% fentanyl. Okay, and I'll just punch my book and that hurt my hand. <laughs> Press F, <laughs> pay respects. Um, yeah, so 50 Viagra, 50 fentanyl, so that's 5% of each. And then we're going to want 45% sugar and 45% soda, baking soda. Now originally I had this recipe as a 90% baking soda, but that wasn't very cost effective. Okay. So, baking soda is $8 for 12 grams, which works out about $1.5 per gram, whereas in sugar is $15 for 100 gram, which is 0.15 per gram. Okay, so it's a lot more cost effective to do sugar um, than it is baking soda, but you need baking soda to try and counteract the toxicity, because baking soda is a very good counteract, counteract for the toxicity in drugs, and fentanyl is very toxic and very potent drug, so we need to counteract that, yes? So we are going to want 45 sugar and 45%, this is percent, 45% sugar, 45% baking soda. So that'd be basically 4,000 is 450 grams of each. Oh, I don't have enough baking soda. <gasps> oh, titties. Oh, titty titties. I don't have enough baking soda. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. But that's it. So... As you can see, we've 45% soda and sugar, which is 450 grams, and 5% Viagra and fentanyl. Okay, so this is the pre-fill you're going to use. And yes, guys, this does work. I've been testing it on clients and dealers. I've had no complaints. And their, um, um, their, what's it called again? I've written it down here. What's it bloody called? Their expectation, yeah, so their expectations of quality, so quality expectations, have always been high. I make sure they are between the 75 to the 90% mark because they don't go higher than 90%. Unfortunately, I'm hoping they put more clients and dealers in that have a 100% quality expectation or even the 95% quality expectation because doing tests to try and make a very quality product for cheap, that's going to be a challenge and that's what I kind of like. And a lot of people like that as well. So yeah, so that is... I quit on the press nothing. Game, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so that's the pre-fill. So I'll go over that again. There's 5% Viagra, 5% fentanyl, 45% sugar, 45% soda. Originally it was 90% baking soda, but we've cut that down to increase our profit range, and it works either way. So if you want to just use 90% soda, just because it's cheaper or easier, I would. It works. And you can also use, like I said, this new one, which is the 45% soda and sugar, um, also works. Okay, so this is my original... 90% soda and this is my 45 to 45 okay so that is the pre-fill guys now we're going to move on to what i call trippy now trippy is my lsd mix so for this we are going to need excuse all the jump juttering and frame rates and all that in here with everything i've got my frame rate jump and now and then i get a bit of a lock up and uh, yeah so I do apologize for that. I'm hoping they kind of optimize this game a little bit on the next uh, next update. But we're going to take 700 grams of LSD. And you can probably see a pattern. I use 700 grams for everything. 700 grams is the lowest you can use. Okay. The lowest base drug you can use in a mix. Okay. You can go lower if you're cutting more product in or if you're doing smaller amounts. But if you're doing 1,000 grams with a basic but very advanced profitable mix if you know what i mean it's a basic mix but it is quite advanced to some people that's what i'm trying to say um 700 grams is the very very minimum you can go you can't go any lower especially to the gang if you go lower than 700 coke for instance to belina you either refuse every order okay even just topping up with more coke so say you do a 60 percent cut instead of 70 percent cut to belina for your your um product 
he will not accept it. And then, you know, you could bring that back and go, okay, well, I'll whack in an extra 100 grams of coke just to bring that up from 60 to 70. No, that don't work either. Your product's screwed. If you mix that 60%, your product's screwed. You need to mix it straight at 70%, which is 700 grams. Okay, but I'm just putting that out there. So, yeah, I always use 700 grams, which is the base limit you can so the very very minimum we can do so we want 700 lsd we're going to want a hundred prefill okay so lsd is a very addictive and powerful drug as it is by itself i've had a lot of added you know addicts and stuff on lsd lsd is freaking fantastic okay i swear by it. and to be honest a lot of people in the community do and uh yeah so lsd is a great drug um but so you have 700 grams of lsd you want 100 grams of prefill which is also very addictive Okay, not very toxic because we've counteracted that with soda. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we want 200 grams of MJ. Okay, um, I've got to cut up, so just got to kind of <laughs> mill some more. Oh, God, I was semi prepared for this, but I want to show you another because there's a couple of points I need to kind of get out there. All right, a couple of things I need to talk about. All right. So yeah, then it's 200 grams of weed, and then that's trippy done. All right, that's trippy, which is a fantastic LSD, my very first fantastic LSD mix. And by the way, guys, what also good about this? Yeah, you could do this with DMT. Okay, so 700 grams of DMT, 100 grams of prefill, 200 grams of marijuana. All right, so there you go. There's two mixes there for you, DMT and LSD. It's a basic one, but it works. Okay, but it might be basic, but like I said, this this works for the client, the dealer. Plus, we are going to use it for a cocaine mix for Belina. All right. So if you're going to try this recipe out, you need to mix up quite a lot of that. Which, as you can see, I have. <laughs> All right. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about whilst uh, we're waiting for the well, whilst I'm doing this MJ, is as you can probably tell, I have no flasks. Yeah. No acetone, nothing. <gasps> Where's it gone? Yes, I have no flasks anywhere. Because, <clears throat> now I've always swore by mixing 399 grams of wet weed with one gram of acetone, soaking it, then crystallizing it. I've always swore by that, okay? But you can, as I explained on the very last episode of DDS, where we talked about the crystallizers and the dries, what's the difference? All right, I experimented and I found out that you can just basically take wet weed straight into the crystallizer and use that. So you're cutting out some process, which is saving you some time. Not money. Well, it kind of is saving money because you don't have to buy acetone, but it's cutting a lot of time out. All right, you are going to speed up your cocaine processing or LSD processing or whatever by cutting out the acetone mix. The only one you really need your acetone for is the meth. Meth you certainly need acetone for. But apart from that, yes. There you go, guys, all right? So that's that explained, okay? Just pick up your wet weed, straight for your plants, stick it straight into crystallizers. Forget the acetone mix, get rid of that, straight into crystallizers, it works, all right? I don't know about the potency kind of side of things. I've not done any testing like that, and I'm sure I will eventually, cause it would drive me fucking nuts if not. But still, there is that way to cut down the processing time of mixing your drugs. So if you're in a hurry, you want to do that. All right. But anyway, back to the LSD mix. So there you go, guys. All right. 700 grams of LSD, 100 grams of prefill, and 200 grams of marijuana. So this one here, like I said, I called trippy because it's LSD. You get trippy on it. It's as simple as that, <laughs> right? So I'm just going to move my prefill up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to let that mix in and then we are going to talk about um, my, well, back to what this, re this this episode is about, which is cocaine recipes. So now we're going to move on to two, two, well, actually it's one cocaine recipe. Okay, one cocaine recipe, but two delivery ways or delivery ways slash recipe i don't know but there is two things i need to talk about especially right one of them being an actual recipe which is to include trippy and the other one is a way you can make as again the title you know implies 
a way you can make some massive profit off your Coke deliveries to Bellina. We are going to talk about that as well. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the Coke recipes. I know that's what you guys are waiting for. Okay. Um, I had to take a quick break, pee break. So, yeah, I'm back now. All right. Okay, I'm back. And I've also mixed up the um, MJ we are probably going to need. Because you're going to need a lot of it. So make sure you do have a lot of MJ available. And as you can see, we've also got the Bellini rolled in for 153 bags. Okay. Now, I got told on... Um, What's today? I don't know what today is. Friday, so Wednesday. <laughs> I forgot what day it is. So I got told on Wednesday's stream by a good friend of mine um, that each duffel bag holds 48, a max of 48 50 gram bags. Okay, so you can you can work it out. Um, you don't have to do like 40 per bag or 47, which is what I thought was max, but it's 48. So you can do three bags, 444. And then the odd in the fifth, in the fourth bag. Okay, so three bags is 144. Then the odd in the fourth bag saves you doing over and over and over and over and over how many trips, depending on where you go. So as you can see, we got to go down here. That's a long way to, to you know take like five, six bags or whatever. Okay, so just bear that in mind as well. All right, I just thought I'd put that out there. So yeah, so let's move on to my brand new cocaine recipe for maximum profits. Now this is maximum profits. My noisy boy was the maximum profits that I managed to get out of the system. But this recipe is on par with noisy boy. Now you cannot make any more profit for a cocaine recipe than noisy boy. Now I have put a recipe guide out or a you know a video for that recipe out for noisy boy and uh yeah it's one of the best gang recipes for profit margin okay and it is maximum you cannot make any more profits than unless you do very fine adjustments which i've tried and tried and tried and i still cannot make more profit per gram than i can on noisy boy for the gang but this recipe here which i'm going to show you now it's on par with Noisy Boy, but it's easier to make. Plus, like I said, it uses the Trippy LSD mix, so you can basically kill two birds with one stone. You can make Trippy to sell Trippy to your clients to double, you know, to maximize your LSD. Um, you know, you're, you're buying your LSD, sorry. And then, uh, yeah, you can use that also for this cocaine recipe. Okay, now this is simple, all right? So you take the Trippy mix, yeah, you mix the Trippy mix to a... 200 uh, so you want 200 trippy mix there you want 100 grams of sugar 100 grams of sugar and then the rest is weed okay <laughs> it's as simple as that all right so this one here is what I call now filler fast because it's such a fast way of doing it Especially now that we're mix, missing the acetone, we're skipping the acetone step, we're straight into crystallizers, so pick all the plant, straight into crystallizers, grind it up, then straight in with this. It's such a fast way of making, you know, especially if you've got loads of trippy mixed up, it's just simple. Yeah, simple and fast. So you're going to want to mix up a batch of this uh, fast fill, what I call it fast, filler fast, or fast fill, whatever you call it. Um, it sounds better fast fill, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about it it was easier to say wasn't it you know um so yeah so mix yourself up a nice big batch i'm just going to stick that in that a second a minute a nice big batch of this uh filler fast <laughs> oh, we'll get it right this time so again 200 grams of trippy 100 grams of sugar and then the rest is mj and I'm hoping I have enough here. So yeah, and the rest is MJ, all right? That is it for the filler for your cocaine. Okay, then you want to take your 700 grams of cocaine there. And then it's simple. It's just straightforward 300 grams of filler fast. That is all you need, guys, to make my new recipe, which is called Maniac, by the way. Because it only took a maniac to work this out. It only took me, you know, two whole days in reality to try and get this recipe right and do a lot of testings. Um, so, yeah, so maniac is what this one is called. We're going to copy that, apply, apply mix onto there. 
and then just go from there. All right, so we are going to want eight kilos in total of this. And just waiting for that one to do. So we're going to want eight kilos in total to do this order. So I'm going to do this order with you guys so you can actually see this actually works. No, my luck. I'll have bad RNG and it won't work, but it will. Trust me, it will work. Okay, all right. Trust me, I'm I'm Pablo and I am the DDS master at this precise moment in time. I've done enough Coke recipes and testing to tell you this will work. So I'm also waiting for all this to mix up. I'm going to explain about the second thing I need to talk to you about. Now, again, this episode is about maximizing your profits of cocaine recipes. Okay, to gain maximum profits from your recipes. There is a way you can do this. It's very complicated, but I'll try and explain as best I can. So if you're doing, as we are, 153 bags, okay, um, that is basically eight kilos. Well, it's actually seven and about seven and a half kilos, but you want to mix up eight because you can't mix up seven and a half. So say you do eight kilos, so eight of these tubs. All right. What you want to do is do four of your main recipe your main mix, so whether that be Noisy Boy, whether it be my new one, Maniac, or whatever recipe you use. Yes, you wanna do four kilos of that main recipe. Then you wanna do four kilos of Coke. Yes, 700 grams of cocaine. And then you want to whack 300 grams of just weed. Just weed, nothing else. 300 grams of just weed in there, which I call green cane because it's green plus cocaine, so I call it green cane. Um, but yeah, you want to do half and half, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. Half and half, okay? If you do half of a green cane, which is basically just cocaine, 700 grams of cocaine, 300 grams of wet weed straight into the crystallizer, from the crystallizer to the grinder, straight in. 300 grams of that in there, yes. Uh, do half of that and half of a normal mixture, yeah. Belina will accept that. And you will get your 45 plus rep for him, plus maximum profit. Okay, now I've written down and done some testing and written things down here. So I'm just going to explain um, visually. Well, not visually, because I can't explain visually unless I spend another hour grinding uh, resources. Because you see I'm out of weed again. But that's fine. I have uh, like 200 odd plants here growing, so it's, it's cool. <laughs> I'll do that by myself. But I'll... I'll talk to you about it all right i'll give you a quick run through of what i mean okay so to do this half and half delivery so we're going to take for instance a simple noisy boy recipe which is 700 grams of cocaine 200 grams of crystal weed or weed crystal okay which again is wet weed straight off the plant straight into crystallizers grinder things like that so you want 700 grams of cocaine 200 grams of that weed you want 50 grams of lsd and 50 grams of sugar okay now that mixture there for four kilos will cost you $70,830. Yes, just for that. Okay, so that's obviously 17,500 for the Coke, 200 grams for the LSD, and $7.50 for the sugar. All right, so you do that four times, which is $70,830 for four kilos. And then you do four kilos of 700 grams of cocaine to 300 grams of weed now that's only going to cost you 17,500 for the coke which in turn is i did write this down when i write it 70,000 for those kilos which is in total 140,830 dollars so eight so 140,830 dollars for eight kilos and we sell that or the gang buys that for 39 dollars a gram okay um which gives you well next year profit at 21.39 dollars per gram yes all right because it costs you 17.61 dollars per gram to mix this half and half recipe so you gain a 21.39 grams per profit um on what well, yeah so on eight kilos right and you're obviously not using that complete eight kilos, but so yeah, so that is the maximum you can do. You can't make any more money per gram from the gang than that, okay? Now, I will explain what I mean. So my Noisy Boy, which like I said, was the maximum you can get for a single recipe. That is 21.4 grams profit, okay? So 
per gram from the Weezer Boys, 21.4 grams profit to the gang. So there you go. All right. So there's actually it's it, 0 0.01. 0 0.01 cents or dollars, whatever, I don't know what that is, I'm not American, but 0 point, 0 0.01 cent difference. <laughs> but that just proves that Noisy Boy is still the most profitable recipe, but for good maximum profits plus time consuming or saving you some time, do a half and half mix. It does work. I've proved this works with a video and I will put that video at the end of this. I'll just add that little clip onto the end of this so you can see that that half and half does work. But I used half Noisy Boy and half of this green cane. I will show you that works, guys. Just to prove my theory and you guys don't think I'm lying and then you try it and it don't work, I will show you it works with a little clip at the end of this video. But yeah, so guys, so we've mixed up Maniac, okay? Um, I need to finish this off so we can make this delivery so I can show you. Alright, so I'll just show you, um, well, just, yeah, so you can see. <laughs> just so you can see that Maniac is uh, a very good recipe to use. <laughs> as simple as that, yeah. Alright, so let's quickly just mix up 8 kilos of this. I'm hoping I have enough here. No, I don't have 200. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but... Ba, 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 I have. Uh, let me just whack all this down here. Uh, eight kilos. Yeah, there's a kilo. There's seven kilos. That's eight kilos. Uh, let me chuck this bag down here so I get confused. So let's go. Drop. And then we were going to go. So remember, it is 48 bags per bag. So three bags is 144. Okay, so that's that. Then we want one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's eight on there. One bag done. And then we'll go another. 40, um, package product, thank you, see, you can tell this isn't pre-recorded, my voice over it, like a lot of YouTubers, I'm not saying a word, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 bags, and then we want another, so, 20, And 40. And then we want 1, 2, 3, 4. And then over here. No, not that one. That one. Yep, there you go. Got some more. So that's two bags of 48. And put that one over there. Not that one. Uh, that one I need four more. One, two, three, four. So that there is 144 bags. And we just need a further six, seven, eight, nine. Further nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh shit. Okay, so there you go. That's Belina's orders ready. We are going to take the maintenance tunnel. We only need to go twice. So we're going to save it here. I'm going to save it as a spare one because... Ah, my weeds are right. It should be right. Okay, let's go. I did it. Don't stop me. Do not stop me. Do not stop me. The police RNG towards me lately is hideous. As I explained at the beginning. Right, so here we are. DA van's still here. It's fine. We just put the drugs in here with him watching. It's fine, Agent Schrader. You can keep watching all you like. You won't get me. Oh, no. Right, I'm going to go back, collect the other two bags, and I'll meet you back here. Nope, don't need to go that way. <laughs> okay, so let's put these last lot in. Here. Should be done. There you go. Just proves my brain is working today, and I can do my maths. 
But thank you to V7 for letting me know that he is 48 max per bank. And uh, 100, you know, three bags is 144. As you can see, the lag here. Yeah, and they need to sort this out. They really do need to sort this out. Okay, here we go. Here, here, and there you go. Okay, guys, so that is is the end of the episode i'm like I said, i'm going to add the little clip of me doing that half and half drop off so you guys can actually see that working and that i'm not bullshitting at all so i'm going to put a little clip on that at the end of this but yeah so i've explained everything i've explained about my new pre-fills and fillers i've explained about my new lsd mix slash dmt mix because you can use it with dmt remember some new lsd slash dmt mix which is trippy um, I've explained about my new cocaine recipe, Maniac, and I've also explained about green cane. Okay, now if you want all these recipes written down for you, there is my brand new, or updated, not brand new, but updated recipe list on the Discord again. So the link to Discord is in the description. Go and check it out. My recipe will be on there. I'll also be uploading it to Facebook if you follow me on Facebook. And again, there should be a link on this channel. Um, might be on the channel banner or somewhere to my facebook page go and check that out as well if you don't want to join discord but i don't see why you don't it's free and you can meet the whole community there but yeah so i think that is everything guys explained about maximizing your profits from Bellina with the cocaine and uh, yeah you can't get any more than that so this will probably be the very unless i I'll probably will I, it's this is me i deal with cocaine only i'm known as escobar you know pablo so i will obviously be doing more tests than the cocaine but i don't think you can make any more profit from Bellina with cocaine if i prove myself wrong i will do another video but i don't think i'm going to prove myself wrong i've tried to do it with this half and half and it's still it is 0 0.01 cent more expensive than the wheezy boy okay so yeah I don't think there's going to be any more cocaine recipe videos out there, but I am going to bring a, another recipe mix eventually out for LSD and DMT, where I'm going to be experimenting with them now. So, yeah. Make sure you check out my Drug Dealer Simulator playlist. Make sure you check out my other videos, and make sure you check out my other channels as well if you enjoy a bit of horror or a bit of survival crafting. Go and check that out as well. So, yeah, that's the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe, and make sure you check you know just stay for a little bit longer so you can see me do that half and half drop off to prove me right on that and uh so you guys can see how it's done so yeah thank you for watching until next time have fun keep gaming and I'll see you in the next video bye bye do 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 do
Bulgar! 